You're watching Backyard Tech. Um... That's not... That's not good. I think the hard drive on Neth server has actually spat the dummy. Bravo all, lunchtime here Monday afternoon, and uh, I think I've got a problem. I think I've got a very, very big problem with the hard drive in Neth server. Um, Try a reset, shall we? I'm not too worried if the drive's dead. I'm going to go and find the key for this, because I don't know where the key is. See what the screen has to say. No device detected. That's a problem. Question is, do I attempt to try and find out what's wrong or do I replace the drive? You know what? I think it's just easier to replace the drive and restore from a backup than it is to try and troubleshoot what's wrong with this. All right. I'm going to do that. Bugger. That's my Western Digital 1 terabyte in there. I thought that was a Seagate. That's not even spinning. Damn, that's a one terabyte WD. She's the back of that's hot. Oh, that is warm. Bugger. That's a two terabyte WD black. Oh, wow, that is hot. Damn. WD2003FYYS. That's an enterprise drive. Damn, that's new old stock.
That drive hasn't been in Neth server for that long. Oh, gee, I can barely hang on to that. Ow. Okay. So we have a problem. All right, well, I guess the only thing to do would be to reinstall Neth server, drop in another drive, and uh, restore the settings from probably Tuesday or Wednesday's backup, because I run, I'm wondering if Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and yesterday's backups are actually any good. Oh, I'll just restore it from... I had no critical data on it, it's just config data, so I'll just reinstall it, then restore the config data. I think that's probably the easiest way of doing it. Let me see if I can find another hard drive. All right, so I just dropped in a Seagate Barracuda desktop 500 gig, which will be all right. I'm going to put the cage back on it. Hang on, I, got to, I can't do it one-handed. All right. Oh, there's the other key. <laughs> Righto. Alrighty, so what we'll do now is um, I'll go ahead and reinstall Meth server and then I'll just restore it from the uh, probably Wednesday, Tuesday or Wednesday's config backup. Um, with Neth server, just so you guys understand, I back up not just Neth server's data, all right, which includes whatever's on Nextcloud. I also back up the config data. Now, I know that's a bit silly me doing two config backups, but at least then I've got a backup, and I reckon the hard drive's been on the fritz for a while, so... All right, we've got a drive. 500 gig. It's not like I keep anything critical on Neth server anyway. I use Nextcloud for remote file storage, basically. All right, well, I'll go off and reinstall Neth server, and then we'll be back shortly. All right, so reinstalling Neth server, and then I'll, uh, once it's set up, I'll remote access it from the red zone and reapply my initial um, config. All right, so I've got the red zone ready to log in. We've got uh, post setup tasks running. So all I've got to do is redo green zone and then restore from the uh, config backup and uh, job done. So it doesn't take that long to do this. I'm just, I'm annoyed that, that I thought that was a Seagate one terror. And it actually turns out it's one of my good Western digital two terrors which is a new old stock drive. So I'm not overly happy about that. I can tell you that right now. All right, so this is nearly finished. Once that's done, um, we'll log in and make sure I've got the green zone running. And then the only thing I've really got to do from the red side of things is the green side config, as we know. And then I'll go back to the desk and finish the setup um, and turn off access from the red zone. Um, I certainly don't need access from the red zone primarily. Um, but I mean, this is why, this is why I run backups, right? Both of data and of the config file. So anyway, all right, we'll, uh, we'll be back shortly. And there we are, all done. All back up and running. Blocked red zone from the interface, which is fine. Now, 
One thing I didn't mention to anyone, and you may be able to tell from here. Okay, you might be able to tell from here. Is the file system. Now, you know old mate gets a bit of flack for using outdated file systems, various file tables and that. So I've gone for a custom setup. Only have a guess at the file system. All right, see what you reckon I've done with the file system. You should be able to tell straight away from the dashboard the file system I've picked. Okay, um, why? Because I can. So have a think. Now, the SSH, I haven't even used the recommended 2222. I've used something completely and utterly different, which is, should work the way I want it to. Um, I decided not to restore from a backup, a config backup. I've decided I may as well just start fresh because there's a couple of other things that I have done that I haven't told you guys about um, that I'm actually going to run into Neth server. All right. The only other thing I've got to do, I've still got to do firewall. I've got to do um, IDS, IPS, um, although I'm not using smart email. Um, mainly because I don't want to. All right, simple as that. I don't want to use smart email because I find that utterly annoying. Um, I've got to still do trusted networks um, and that. So, but there we are. I decided I might as well just, you know, start from fresh. You can see there the DNS coming off the red. Um, so the machines all look to that. All right. And someone's going to have a dummy spit because I've used slash 23, which is illegal. <laughs> you are not allowed to use slash 23. It's either slash 24 or nothing. Um, I love people who are like that. <laughs> so, and then what I'm going to do later on is redo cockpit. Only I'm going to change how co cockpit functions re next cloud. So we'll be getting into that. But there we are. All done. Wasn't too bad. Anyway. I will catch you tonight, guys, for the TBIM edition of the Convos. Have a good one. Cheers.